thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as best I could. But when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. You who so well know the nature of my soul, will not suppose, however, that I gave utterance to a threat. At length, I would be avenged. This was a point definitively settled, but the very definitiveness with which it was resolved precluded the idea of risk. I must not only punish, but punish with impunity. A wrong is unredressed when retribution overtakes its redresser. It is equally unredressed when the avenger fails to make himself felt as such to him who has done the wrong. It must be understood that neither by word nor deed had I given Fortunato cause to doubt my goodwill. I continued as was my wont to smile in his face. And he did not perceive that my smile now was at the thought of his immolation. <laughs> It was about dusk, one evening during the supreme madness of the carnival season, that I encountered my friend. Friend, pardon me, but have you come upon a fellow called Fortunato? No, I don't know. A rather boisterous fellow, this Fortunato, known to keep company with ladies, with women. Oh, yes, you over there. See, he lifts the goblet. Many thanks. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. How remarkably well you're looking today. Tell me, how are the ladies treating you? <laughs> no. It is I who treat them. <laughs> and have you enjoyed the evening? <laughs> you know the saying, don't you? Discretion is the better part of valor. Well, I have neither, my friend. Why did you come here? What brings you this way? I'm on my way to see Lucas. Oh? Yes, I believe the task of what passes for Amontillado. Of course I knew that Lucchese could not tell Amontillado from Sherry. He could not distinguish wine from gold. Fortunato had a weak point. Although in other regards he was a man to be respected and even feared. He prided himself on his connoisseurship in life. It would be simple then to convince my friend that Lucchese's taste was no match for his own. And I had no trouble in doing so. It was obvious that his state of mind combined with his self-esteem increased his rapture for his discerning. Taste. I have a drink in the world for that, my friend. Oh, oh, oh. Come, let us go. No, my friend. It is not I baited my friend further by feigning concern for a cough that had possessed him for some time. 
This gave me an opportunity to show my concern. Fortunato insisted that we proceed to the wine tasting ceremonies with dispatch, despite his affliction. He could not bear the thought of Lucchese's determining the quality of my vintage cast. attendants at home. They had absconded to make merry in honor of the time. I had told them that I would not return until the morning and had given them explicit orders not to stir from the house. These orders were sufficient, I well knew, to ensure their immediate disappearance, one and all, as soon as my back was turned. made oak to add warmth to your journey. <coughs> Look, observe the white web work which gleams from these cavern walls. Niter? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Niter. <coughs> How long have you had that cough? <coughs> Nothing. Come, we will go back. Your health is precious. You are rich, respected, admired, beloved. You are happy as I once was. You are a man to be missed. As for me, it is no matter. Come here. We will go back. You will be ill and I cannot be responsible. Besides, there is no case. Enough! The cough is a mere nothing. It will not kill me. I shall not die of a cough. True. True, and indeed I had no intention of alarming you unnecessarily. But you should use all proper caution. A draft of this made oak will defend us from the damps. 
drink. <laughs> I drink to the buried that repose around us. And I to your long life. <laughs> These vaults are expensive. The Montre Thors were a great and numerous family. Ah, uh, I forget your arms. <coughs> a huge human foot door in a field azure. The foot crushes a serpent rampant whose fangs are embedded in the heel. <coughs> <laughs> and the motto. Name o may. Impune la cassette. <laughs> Good. Good. The nitre. See, it increases. It hangs like moss upon the vaults. We're below the river's bed. The drops of moisture trickle upon the rocks. Come. Let us go back before it's too late. Your call. It is nothing. Let us go on. But first, another draft of the Medoc. You do not comprehend? Not I. Then you are not of the Brotherhood. How is that? You are not of the Masons. Yes. Yes, of course. You, a Mason, impossible. A Mason, indeed. Oh? Give me a sign, then. It is... this. <laughs> Surely... Come now. <laughs> you jest. But let us proceed to the Amontillado. So be it. Proceed. Herein lies the Amontillado. And as for Lucasia, <laughs> Cannot help but feel the night. It is indeed very damp. Once again, I implore you to return. No. 
then I must positively beat you. But I must first render you all of the little attentions in my power. <laughs> yes, a very good joke indeed. <laughs> An excellent chest. We'll have many a rich laugh about it at the palazzo. <laughs> Over our wine. <laughs> The Amontillado. <laughs> yes, the Amontillado. But is it not getting late? Will they not be awaiting us at the Palazzo? The Lady Fortunato and the rest. Let us be gone. Yes. Let us be gone. For the love of God, Montresor. Yes, for the love of God. Fortunato? Fortunato!
Thank mm-hmm. you. 